Stagflation, oh, it's not a happy subject. There are times when the economy gets into an intractable mess. Slow growth or no growth with rising prices. That's stagflation. We haven't felt it in a generation, but it sure looks like it's headed our way again. You are going to hear a lot about this. For the past year, inflation has gradually picked up steam. Now it's running hot at a 10% clip, and I think it gets worse. Food price inflation will soon accelerate. Couple that with gas prices and electricity bills and everything else, and you've got an inflation problem that everybody can see and feel. Now, it's the job of the Federal Reserve to fix that. They do this by raising interest rates, and that's what they're doing now. The economy will slow. That's the stag part of stagflation. Stagnant economy, rising prices, stagflation. Now, think of the implications of this. The standard of living, especially for low-income people, goes down. Just about everybody loses ground. Now, we saw stagflation in the late 70s and very early 80s. 10% inflation, slowing economy, rate hikes, then recession. An angry electorate fired President Carter. This time around, we're already feeling stagflation in our wallets. I think the politicians will feel it at the ballot box and soon.